is a dramatic vampire genre web series. And um, the storyline is that this young woman named Skylar is dying from an allergy to vampire blood, which was given to her by her brother, who's a vampire slayer. The reason he gave it to her is because she has leukemia. She had leukemia. And vampire blood cures illnesses and, and fixes injuries and stuff. But then she had a bad reaction to the blood, so now that's killing her. And the only cure to that allergy is fresh vampire blood from a different bloodline. So she pretty much thinks it's hopeless. She's going to die and her brother is trying to find this cure. He's a nurse, but he's not really getting anywhere. And then finally, just miraculously, she meets Max, who is this young, rather mysterious vampire. We don't really know why he's there, but he offers to help her. And from there, a whole bunch of drama just ensues because nothing can be as simple as, as you would want it to be. I am the director, supposedly, um, and I sort of was brought in as a consulting advice for the writing and then sort of it shifted from being maybe the DP to now finally being the director, which is really cool. And my favorite project, probably the short that I just made actually for the film festival, is called Come With Me. Um, and it was an idea that I originally had a while ago and sort of was rep rep repurposed for the festival and really turned out exactly how I hoped it would. I have recently graduated from school about a year ago. I went to film school at Chapman University. And since then, I've worked on a number of projects. I've DP'd an independent feature film, kind of a character study drama with science fiction undertones. I've shot a number of music videos, um, lots of short films. I'm attracted to things with storytelling, so. I'm looking forward to working on Redwood for a number of reasons. Um, I'm attracted to the genre. I've never worked in this genre before. Um, I think it lends itself to a lot of strong visuals. There's a lot of interesting characters. I can't wait to shoot out in the forest. That's one of the best things for me, is to be out in nature, because it's, you know, as opposed to being in a studio like this or in front of a green screen where you have to really pretend, you get a lot of that environment right there, and it's really sort of creatively stimulating, and it's something I'm really looking forward to. What am I not looking forward to? This story has consumed the last two and a half years of my life. So first and foremost, I think just getting it like to that stage of, of being, of happening and, and, and being done and getting it out there for people to watch. Like that's what I'm most looking forward to.